spirit dragons. Not quite what you think. I'm not exactly talking about dragons that are spirit guides. Well, I am, but this is a little more specific. So in this video, we're gonna go into the seven signs that your spirit guide is a spirit elemental dragon and how exactly to work with that. So for dragons, there are nine main elementals. Now there are also other like minor elementals that go off of these, but there are these nine main ones. And on my channel, I have discussed six of those, which would be fire, water, earth, air, light, and darkness. Now, the first four are a sort of tier onto, their, onto themselves. And then light and darkness are a tier. And then above light and darkness, you have spirit dragons, okay? So these are spirit elemental dragons, not to be confused with spirit guides per se, though of course they can be spirit guides and that's what we're gonna be discussing today. And then above spirit, you've got storm or maelstrom. And then above that, you got chaos. So those are the nine main elements that dragons honor and respect. And I've just gotten the downloads that maybe humanity's not ready to learn so much about the storm and the chaos dragons just yet. That will come, that will come. But right now we're still just learning about dragons, so I'm not gonna delve into that. However, in my services connecting people with their spirit guides and their spirit dragons and connecting and discovering their elemental affinities, I've noticed that spirit keeps coming up as an elemental affinity it keeps coming up more and more actually. So I think it's becoming more and more common for these spirit elementals to present themselves and to work with humans. So where do spirit elemental dragons live? Now, unlike the other elementals, which can be more grounded in the earth, particularly the first four, uh, spirit elemental dragons don't exist on the earth plane at all from what I've understood. Um, they are purely astral, purely etheric spiritual beings. And essentially the download I've gotten, which is pretty freaking cool, is that if your dragon's primary affinity is spirit, essentially your dragon's main form, their anchor form exists like in a different plane or a different dimension, a different world. And essentially what you're experiencing here is kind of like a hologram of them, a hologram of their main form. As such, spirit elemental dragons tend to be quite invincible and fearless, but also like less attached to this reality than the other elemental affinity dragons. They can be very non-attached, very kind of unemotional, and really just kind of chill as a result. Just kind of chill. If you want to see what a spirit dragon looks like, this one. <laughs> This is a spirit elemental affinity dragon, from what I understand. You may find that it's hard to get a clear physical form from a spirit elemental dragon because they're so etheric. But if you do get somewhat of a physical form, it could shift more than others. They're more likely to be gender fluid than other sorts of dragons. And their appearance can generally be quite clear, see-through, kind of bluish, maybe some purple. That's just what I've noticed personally. So now I bet you're wondering if maybe you're the type of person that has a spirit elemental dragon. So check out these seven signs plus a bonus to see if you kind of fit the bill. You could have all of these signs and not have a spirit elemental dragon. You could only have like a few of these signs and have a spirit on some elemental dragon. So don't take this as a hard and fast rule, but it is a good suggestion, I would say. So first sign, spirit elementals are drawn to people with a balanced elemental polarity. Now, what that can look like, if you want to sort of quantify that, you can check your astrology and look at your elemental kind of makeup. What is your dominant element? What element are you lacking? Or do you happen to kind of have a balance of all of the above? If so, a spirit dragon is more likely to be working with you because that kind of shows that you've mastered all of the like lower, like base elements. And so you're ready for like the next level. Two, 
witchy people and people that are just drawn to the unseen people that may be a little off um that are spiritual seekers three people who are quiet people who prefer to just observe and also to uh, observe without judgment generally from what i understand spirit elementals are sort of gatherers of information they're kind of scouts which is why their main form their anchor form exists somewhere else and this is just sort of a mirage that we're experiencing here and so they prefer people who are kind of similar who are kind of here but maybe not really here they just kind of seen but not heard right for people that have a lot of contact with spirits, specifically ghosts, which we'll get more into later, but that's gonna draw a spirit dragon. Five, people that are choosing to transmute a lot of karma over a short period of time. Now, what this looks like is essentially just a very dramatic life with maybe lots and lots of trauma and lots of ups and downs. If that is what you're experiencing, likely you are transmuting a lot of karma, my friend, and likely you've got a spirit dragon that is wanting to help you. Going off of that, people that are attracted to spirit elementals may have a tendency to be dissociative. That means you could literally experience dissociation where it's like, reality doesn't feel real it feels like a dream you feel numb or even just like lighter forms of just like escapism and always really just not liking it here in the physical planes and then seven like a spirit you can just see right through people and their bullshit you're a brilliant lie detector uh spirit elemental dragons super drawn to that Bonus sign number eight, if you know your 16 personality type, your Myers-Briggs type, if you are an INFJ, <laughs> I myself am an INFJ, so I can relate, uh, spirit elemental dragons particularly drawn to that energy because honestly, the INFJ energy just kind of naturally encompasses all of the things that we just discussed. So do you think that your guide might be a spirit elemental dragon? If so, if you want to learn more about how to work with them, I'd encourage checking out my e-course, How to Train Your Dragon Guide, which can be found in the description below. But now we're just going to dive into what a spirit elemental dragon can help you with. What are their specialties? So one, as we touched on before, spirit or ghost communication. It can be a little sketchy, a little dangerous when you're dealing with ghosts and entities and the like. And so spirit dragons are drawn to people that do that sort of work so that they can facilitate a safe communication for all parties involved, really. They want to make sure that if everything is clear and that there's no possession or anything like that, that there's a clear exchange of energy happening. Two, basically going off of that, any form of mediumship or channeling, um, such as I'm doing right now um, when I talk about these spirit elemental dragons. Three, astral travel astral travel that oh they love that they love that more so even than the air dragons who are also good at assisting with astral travel spirit dragons that is their jam for those of you that don't know what astral travel is essentially it's when you leave your physical body your soul leaves your body and you can go travel anywhere in this reality or another one like a different dimension you can travel anywhere sky's the limit once your soul is kind of disconnected from your body like that. And again, the spirit elementals will ensure that this happens safely and that you don't get stuck or anything like that scary happens. Being the astral beings that they are, spirit elementals, also really good at assisting with Akashic record access. So if you're, you know, hoping to go in, learn more about, say, past lives or something, you can call in a spirit elemental and they'll ensure that you get that information smoothly and clearly. They can also amplify your self-trust. Um, so if you're feeling crazy, questioning your sanity, call on a spirit dragon. <laughs> they will help you with that. And as a result too, they're gonna help you increase your intuition and your innate psychic abilities. Spirit elementals, they're also good at clearing space like fire dragons or air dragons, but they got like a more, etheric kind of vibe to them the way i feel 
describes them and the way they, they work is they're like sage spray. I know maybe you know of saging, like where you burn and there's smoke and stuff, and that's more like fiery and more airy, right? Well, sometimes they make sprays with like that sage, the sage components in them. I myself have one, it's, it's wonderful. A spirit elemental dragon is more similar to that vibe, that energy. It's honestly, I find it to be much more pleasant. Um, it doesn't linger, it's just like there, and it, it gets the job done quick. Maybe you're noticing a theme, and this is no different. So they can help with dreams, but they are particularly concerned with ensuring safe dreams, just like safe spirit communication, safe astral travel. They also want to ensure safe dreams. So if you have a lot of nightmares or you struggle to sleep, call in a spirit dragon and they'll help ease that out. They'll help calm that energy, calm that spiritual space and create a nice bubble for you to find peace in your slumber. Finally, they can act on the behalf of other spirit guides if those spirit guides might be hard for you to reach for whatever reason. Um, sometimes it's not so cut and dry connecting with our guides and it could be hard, particularly with deceased loved one guides, to connect when we're carrying dense emotions. But uh, spirit elemental dragons, they vibrate at such like a high frequency and they're so good being dragons moving between dimensions that they can ensure that you get the messages from your spirit team that you need to hear. So again, are you guys thinking that you may have a spirit elemental dragon or would you like one? If so, stay tuned because I do have a spirit elemental dragon that would like to assist you, um, but I need to draw a picture of them so I can show you so we can use that as an anchor. You can feel free to call them in anytime. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, I would love you forever, and so would the dragons, if you could like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. And if you haven't yet met your spirit dragon, I would highly encourage you to check out my meditation, which I may be linking at the end here. It's free on YouTube. It allows you to visit the dragon realms and maybe, who knows, maybe a spirit elemental will assist you in traveling to the, the dragon realms. So that's all we have for today, my friends. Until next time, stay powerful.